Hey there! I'm doing a, a couple of uh, quick vlogs um, to let you all know the things that I'm doing that I've been working on and um, well just a quick little update. Um, right the first thing I want to share with you is this um, these art supplies that I got from Frauke. It's already um, quite a while ago that she sent this to me. Um, some people send me uh, art supplies to review, which is absolutely great because that way, you know, I get to try th things that I can't get here or, well, um, like most of you know, I, I do this because of my interest. I mean, I don't make any money from it. So, um, you know, I don't have a budget to, to just buy and try everything. Um, so sometimes people send me stuff to uh, to try, but this time uh, Fraga said, uh, "Mandy, I have this beautiful big palette, but it's too big for me, and I wonder if you can, if you want to have it. It's a John Pike palette, and in fact I had been considering buying this a couple of times already, but it was the price and the shipping that." Um, that made me decide not to go ahead and do it. So she sent it to me. I was actually in shock by how big it is. I'm going to show you what's inside here in the next vlog because I've already put it to use. Um, but it's huge and then I'll open it up because um, everything in there is <laughs> uh, not attached. Um, second thing she sent me was an Art Deco artist coloring book that you can color with inks and watercolor. And I've never seen it. Um, I love it, it's beautiful paper, it looks a bit like Canso on Montval. Um, and I'm not, I don't really like colouring um, things, but what I do like, what I think I will use it for, is to to, to draw straight over it and um, use the, the underlying um, drawing as um, a pattern or something. Um, it's not really clear to me yet, but um, when I saw this, it immediately inspired me to to make my own thing of this. So that's really lovely. And she sent me some crepe, some crepe um, oil pastels and um, I've recently figured out really um, technical um, ways of making paintings with those. So I'm really happy with these as well because they run out very quickly with the technique I've currently been using. And um, she also sent me a fine tech set of um, iridescent colors, and I like the fine tech um, metallics. You've already you can see in my videos that I did a review on those, and they were pretty good. So I'm expecting quite a bit of this as well, and I'm looking forward to use them on black paper. Um, so I've prepared some uh, watercolor paper with. Um, a black ink that sort of uh, is not oily so it won't resist the paint but at the same time um, it will also you know it will absorb it won't leave and leave it leave the paint on it as drops which ink sometimes does so I'm, I'm looking forward to using these and finally last but not least and this is something I've never ever seen before my kids burst out laughing when they saw this so it's it's well wrapped. It's this, and maybe you can guess why my children were laughing so hard when they saw this. This is graphite, and I've I I saw them big. I have a couple of really big chunks, but this is this is the uber. This is the uber giant. And at first I thought, what the hell am I going to do with this? But it's actually really lovely. Because the moment you draw with something as big as this, you have to move your entire arm because it's so heavy. You, it's, it's uncomfortable drawing like this. So you will automatically use your entire arm. And once you do, um, you can see that your shapes change. And um, it, it's, it really, for, for big sketches on big sheets of paper, or on the wall, I always stick them onto my door. Um, it actually does add a whole new dimension to drawing and sketching. So I really love this. It's it's like when it came out of the package, I was like, <laughs> what is it? But it turns out to be, it's really become my friend. So um, the only thing is you you will get really dirty hands from it. So, But then again, I always have a tap and some soap nearby. 
so this is um, what Fraga sent me and I'm I'm really grateful for it and um, you know it, it really does allow me to try things that I normally wouldn't try or that are well um, unaffordable or that I can't get and um, it's really lovely so I'm going to end this video and then I'm going to show you the insides of the John Pike um, palette see you there